Stress testing is an effective method for checking the robustness of your bank. The essence is one tests whether the financial institution could survive a serious setback or crisis. The Basel Committee on Banking Supervision recommends the active use of this risk management tool. A stress test may evoke a hint of complexity and suggests that the tool is out of reach for smaller banks and microfinance institutions. Nothing is less true. In this video we will present a simple Excel model that demonstrates the basic principles of stress testing. Banks use stress tests to check whether under strenuous situations regulatory requirements still can be met. To this purpose, one must come up with various stress scenarios. Such a stress scenario should be serious, severe, and plausible at the same time. Bank managers know their institution and their business well enough to design such a high-impact test. On the other hand, one should not go overboard and come up with cases that are far-fetched. A plausible scenario is credible and realistic. In our model we present a simplified balance sheet and income statement of a fictitious financial institution. Banks apply stress tests to a chain of several quarters. This can go up to two years. Beyond the two-year horizon things become too vague. At the beginning we have our initial balance sheet. The income statement links the balance sheet to the ending balance sheet of the quarterly report, and so on. We have put the supervisory rules to the right. To keep things simple, we have included 1. An equity requirement. 2. Cash or liquidity requirement. Of course, these requirements can be configured differently. At the bottom of our Excel model, we calculate and trace these two ratios for each of the quarters. The calculations are simple enough. Using Excel's conditional formatting feature, we create a heat map using the minimum requirements in the upper right panel. Now, let's turn to our scenario. In our simple example we stress test just three assumptions. 1. The size of the loan portfolio. We assume that the number of clients and the average loan size will shrink. 2. Also, the portfolio return, which includes the credit losses, will take a battering. High loan losses result in negative returns. 3. The interest rate paid on saving deposits. We assume that we must pay higher rates to convince savers to stay with us. The changes in the interest rates only change the amount of interest paid and do not impact the size of the savings. With our model, ratios, and parameters in place, we can run the stress test. The stress test consists of varying the scenario's input parameters and see the impact on the ratios. A convenient way of doing this is using the data validation function in Excel that allow us to pick values from a list. It is an easy way to create pull-down menus in our model. Now we are ready to go. Of course, the model at hand is basic. However, it shows the approach for making more sophisticated models. Good luck!